if you go to your Old Testaments, um, and, and we should, because this is exactly what the author of Hebrews is doing. Um, if you look at Psalms chapter, um, Psalm 110, this is the, the one that he's quoting. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek means righteous king. So it could be a proper noun, mm -hmm. Melchizedek, or it could mean the righteous king. So in some translations, for example, of um, a Psalm 110, it's not um, translated as Melchizedek. It's translated righteous king, literally. So like your name, Ben, means Benjamin, son, son, son of the right, son of my, hand, yeah, the right hand. Son of the right hand. So like I could call you son of the right hand or I could call you Ben. Um, it depends on what I'm looking at. In this okay. case, I'm looking at Ben. And so you can see the kind of significance of this is Abraham paid tithes to Melchizedek. Someone you pay tithes to, someone who blesses you is like in a higher position than you. And Jesus is in this higher position because Jesus is the, the righteous priest. The author of Hebrews is trying to make this argument that you can like put your money on Christ because um, the, the ancient scriptures prophesy of him and he is the fulfillment of this law. Mm -hmm.